that's not even funny. Welcome back to NDTV. One of the big questions people are posing today is, what is the proper time to start listening to Christmas music? Well, people, we've brought in a resident expert. His name is Peppermint the Elf. And Peppermint has had a lot of experience with Christmas. He's been through a lot of dealings with the, with the holiday. I think this might be his, what is it, Peppermint, year 147? 40, 148 for Peppermint. So let's hear from Peppermint about his thoughts on when is the proper time to start listening to Christmas music. Wow, can I just say I am thankful for my mortality. That is incredible. Thank you, Peppermint. Have a wonderful time not sleeping and making my presence this year. I've been a good boy. Okay, let's hear from Tiffany. Tiffany, what's on your mind? I cheated on my husband. Wow, thank you, Tiffany. Hey, excuse me, we're doing a segment for NDTV. We're doing a little segment for Notre Dame Television, and uh, we were wondering if we'd have a moment of your time. We're doing a little bit for NDTV, and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in answering a few very simple questions. I'm not sure if you saw the 2015 Bloomberg College Rankings, and we actually dropped from the number 17 spot to 35. Up to 17? Below Boston College? Below our rival Boston College, of course, and the Orchestral Institute of Southern Florida. This is below uh, the Southern Tennessee Wilkes Booth School of Management. We're hoping to assert our ND intelligence with a few simple word definitions. Some very simple, everyday words from the English language. Word definitions. We're wondering if you might like to give it a shot. Okay. Sure? Sure. Sure? Sure. Sure. They said sure. All right, so. The first word that we're going to ask you to define is B. B? B. Honey. Uh, this is B with one E. This is from. From. So that is going, you start in one place and you end up in another place. Like going to and from a place. 
It's a connector between two things. So if I got a present from my mother, the present came from that place that is my mother? No. Would you like me to use it in a sentence? I just got some socks and a hat from my mom. Origin? Do you know that? Yes. Yes, it's Japanese, actually. Let's try about. Uh, near, close to, approximate. I feel like the Japanese people would understand it in, is that race? Racist? No. I don't, I don't know. Are you Japanese? I'm not Japanese. Then maybe. So we'll be careful with that one. It's okay. Let's try another one. This is the word about. Um, describing something. It's like talking about it. You can't define a word with a word. <laughs> okay. That's all right. We apologize formally. All right. Uh, so, like, clip has multiple meanings, so it's like, I think it's the only... What does clip mean? So, Am I supposed to say the first word that pops in my mind? Yeah. No, just d try and define the word, please. Let's try which. Which, um, it's like a particular thing, so... So it's a noun? No. How is it spelled? Which. Um, it's a... Demonstrative, demonstrative. Which, like, there's actually supposed to be an apostrophe there. It's an abbreviation for sandwich. A. What's a demonstrative? Um. How about the word well? It's better than good. Um, it's actually a hole in the ground uh, where your water water comes out of. How what does other mean? Isn't that like the mascot for Soaring College? The I think you may be confused with Otter. Oh, yeah. Or Douchebag, one of the two, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that that would be a good enough definition to improve, impress Bloomberg. The word B. Yeah. Do you want me to define B? Uh, like existence? Yeah. Well, being, seeing how it's a part of the word of being, it's like a state of actually knowing and understanding where you are in the current status quo. Um, to be somewhere is to be at the moment, at the time, in the moment. And so be is to like just understand where you are. Thanks for that. What? Okay. Thanks. Um, where am I going to do this one? I like this one. All right. You know, it's probably just incompetent people such as me that have caused this great drop in the business school's rankings. That's what I was thinking, too. All right. Well, thanks for trying, I guess. I'm confused. That's all right. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Uh, no, thanks. Okay. So one story that we heard today at the... Uh, and the Hesburgh Library, there's been some construction and renovation going around outside the building, and there's been a large crane blocking the view from the 13th floor window in Father Hesburgh. Uh, it didn't have the view of the beautiful Notre Dame campus as he is used to having. Um, but fortunately, they finished the renovations. It was uh, quite expensive, but the donors have done their part, and it was completed in time. And uh, after the crane was moved, said Father Hesburgh, I can see clearly now the crane is gone. Here's another song.
Wow, and that is the beautiful note that we're going to leave you with here. It's been a wonderful spending this half hour with you on NDTV Channel 6 News. I am Frederick McDougalus, and this is Tiffany Wingding. And you've heard from a lot of our correspondents in the field. Good night, good day, and good morrow. That's not even funny.